It was this Facebook post that landed Diane Kola Barnard in hot water. The outspoken politician shared a controversial statement, calling for the return of apartheid-era leader P.W. Boerter. Kola Barnard apologized, saying she'd made a mistake. But the damage was already done. She was widely criticized and was demoted soon after. Late last night, her party membership was terminated. We cannot have at any point where someone might make a proposal that we have a nostalgia towards apartheid or anything of the sort. So it's a message that says to all of us as South Africans that we've got to be able to build and look to the future of this country. So that was the key focal point, and it speaks to a non-racial message. It's not about any particular race or anything like that. It's about the kind of country and society we want to build. But the ANCs described the expulsion as a publicity stunt. The fact is that there are still public representatives uh, guilty of similar racism within the DA, against whom no action has been taken, which makes the party's decision against uh, this particular MP appear like a, a convenient uh, public relations stunt. One political analyst believes the DA had to expel Kola Barnard to prove it wasn't racist. I think that's the biggest thing that she's been punished for, that she has confirmed what the critics have always you know, accused the DA of. So they had to take care of that and entrench that you know, the DA is not a racist political party. So they had to do with you know, appeasing black voters, so to speak. The party also expelled fellow MP Juanita Tablanche for allegedly misappropriating party funds in the Northwest.